happy Sunday. Come on in, come watch. Uh, I just wanted to jump on here and share two quick little recipes I came up with um, the last 24 hours. So we are one week into spring and it has snowed twice so far up here in the mountains for us. But today it's supposed to be 60 degrees, so I'm very much looking forward to taking the little ones outside and spending some time in the sun, getting some nice natural vitamin D, getting some fresh air. But I have a couple things I wanna do before then. One of them is this video. So let me know when you jump on, if you can hear me, just give me a thumbs up. Let me know if the connection's good. And I'm gonna talk about a little bit about like what inspired me to uh, create this recipe today and come on and share it with you guys. So. I, if you've seen my stories, I joined a service called Misfits Market, and I was super, super excited about it. I'm so glad that I found it. Just a quick little Google, Google search. But basically what Misfits Market is, is they go and take all of the organic produce that grocery stores were going to get rid of, and they scoop it up, and then they resell it for like 40% off the normal price that you would find it in the store. So the reason that the grocery stores get rid of it is because sometimes it doesn't look good enough so for example like here's one of the potatoes i got this potato is freaking huge and the grocery stores want it to be a very specific size it needs to look good right it needs to look appealing and so they're throwing away all of this produce because it just doesn't look good enough so misfits market comes scoops it up resells it and then we as the consumer gets to benefit getting fresh organic produce at a fraction of the cost so uh, I'm not sure if they're available in all 50 states, but uh, I would recommend going to their website, checking it out. I'm also going to tag them in the comments when this video is over. If you are interested in trying out their delivery service, let me know because I do have a code to get you $10 off your first order. So you can send me a DM or a comment on the video and I will make sure that I get that to you. But what I love about this produce delivery service is I used to use a different one. And what I didn't like about the other one was it wasn't organic produce and you couldn't pick what you wanted every week. So, which is fine. I mean, it was very fun for me to like experiment with getting new fruits and vegetables that I maybe wouldn't pick out from the store usually and coming up with recipes for them. What I love about Miss Fitz Market is you can do either one. So you can choose exactly what you wanna get in your box or you can just say, hey, you guys pick and give me, you know, whatever. Um, and oh, let me mention the price because it's out of control. So you, it is a subscription service, but you can cancel at any time, you can skip a week. So I chose to sign up for bi-weekly and I'm glad I did because I got so much produce that I know it's gonna take us at least through this next week to eat all of it. Um, but what I got was this huge box that was insulated and it was full to the top of fresh organic produce. There was like one apple that didn't make it that would just kind of like fell apart in the process and I tossed that, but everything else looked absolutely perfect. Um, but like I said, you're just gonna get kind of abnormal looking food, like this potato is just gigantic. We got like really, really tiny little apples, which were so cute and my little 13 month old, it was like the perfect size for her to hold in her little hands and just like walk around and chew it. So um, what else? But yeah, it's, it's a really great service. I'm really excited that I found it. I only just got my first order, but I am gonna um, continue to post about it as I get new shipments. So with that being said, uh, one of the things I got was so much potatoes, like so many potatoes. And again, they were like freaking huge. So uh, last night when I was kind of prepping, going through the fridge, prepping like what our meals are gonna be for this week, I was like, oh, I'm gonna roast a bunch of these potatoes and then we can just have them to throw into different dishes throughout the week. So what I did for the roasted potatoes, and I just wanted to, to show you because I actually talked to a lot of people that want to incorporate potatoes more into their diet but aren't exactly sure the best way to prepare them. So for me, when I just do roasted potatoes, um, in general, when I put stuff in the oven, I prefer to use glass over like a metal pan. So I have tons of these uh, little dishes, glass dishes. And so I always just take like a coconut oil spray or an avocado oil spray and then I'll, I'll spray the bottom to keep everything from sticking. But what I did for these potatoes was I decided to wash them and then I decided to skin them and then I cut them up into, let's say like half inch little wedges. So they were pretty small and it made a substantial, a pretty substantial pile. And then what I did was I put them in a bowl. And another thing you might've seen on my stories earlier this week is I just got a shipment from Bulletproof. So I listened to 
um, the founder, Dave Asprey, on the Balanced Blonde podcast. And it was such an amazing podcast episode. Let me know if you want the link. I'd love to share it with you so you could give it a listen. But he talked about uh, all of his amazing products, which I've heard about for so many years being in the paleo community. He's the one that created the Bulletproof Coffee, which you might've heard of. Uh, anyway, so one of the things that he recommended was grass-fed ghee. And so I just wanna read you on this label so you can understand like what the, the ghee is. So it has a higher smoke point. So this makes this um, a great uh, thing to cook with when you're sauteing on high heat. So. I've mentioned this before in other videos that I've done, but you never want to cook with certain oils because high heat can damage the oil and actually it can turn toxic. So for example, olive oil is like a low uh, temperature oil that you'd want to use. So you would never want to use that to saute anything in high heat. So ghee has a really high smoke point, making this a great option. And so it is made from the cream of grass fed New Zealand cows. It's a great alternative to butter and cooking oils. It has a creamy and buttery taste. It's, it's perfect for cooking, roasting, baking, and sauteing. So I was really excited to try this. And something that I was surprised about is when I got it, um, and I don't know if you can kind of see, from the outside, I thought that it was gonna be more of like a coconut oil. So I thought it was gonna be more solid. And then maybe as it sat in room temperature, it was gonna be more liquid. So when it said drizzle, I was like, how am I supposed to do that? But when you open it up, it's actually like, very very soft almost like a like the consistency of like a lotion so it's like creamy and soft and so it was super easy for me to take a spoon and take a scoop and then throw it into the bowl of uh, chopped potatoes that I had so that's what I did was I coated I would say I, it was probably like two tablespoons worth um, dropped it in the in the bowl coated it on all the potatoes and then I kept the seasonings really simple because whenever you're prepping a vegetable ahead of time. You kind of want to go easy on the seasoning because you want it to fit with a lot of different dishes that you might have throughout the week. So all I did was a little bit of Himalayan pink salt, um, just sprinkle a little bit on there. And actually, after having tasted it when it turned out, I probably could have used more, but um, just a little bit. And then I've been trying to find more ways to incorporate turmeric into my diet. And so what I love about turmeric is it's such a great anti-inflammatory uh, herb, and this is the spice form. And I've incorporated it into matchas. I make like a really good golden matcha. But what I love is it doesn't change the flavor profile significantly. So it's a great thing to throw in to dishes if you wanna get that anti-inflammatory boost, but you don't want to completely change the flavor of the whole dish. So that's all I did was some Himalayan pink salt, some turmeric, and then I put it into my glass dish and I roasted it, it was at 400, and I believe it was about 30 minutes. And I don't know if it was like the ghee, but the way they turned out was, were, they were so soft and they almost like melted in your mouth, which is crazy because usually when I roast in the oven, it's got kind of like more of a tough exterior and then the inside is soft, but like these potatoes were so delicious. And so I was really excited about them. It, we made a huge bowl and I put it in the fridge and then this morning I was like, okay, what could I use for these potatoes for breakfast? Something that's gonna be easy to throw together. And that's when I came up with my second recipe, which is the one I really wanted to share with you. So what I did, again, took my glass dish, coated the bottom with some oil, is I put all of, like a big portion of the potatoes all along the bottom. So I kind of just like spread them out so it covered the whole bottom. And then what I did was I chopped up some turkey bacon into, you know, little tiny, little tiny pieces, sprinkled that on onto the potatoes. Then I took some dairy-free cheese, sprinkle, and I took like a good bit. So I was really trying to like coat the potatoes, kind of get it into like all the different crevices. So I put like a good helping dairy-free cheese. And then I cracked some eggs. So I think I did about five eggs. I, I had them pretty evenly spaced. So like one, two, three, four, and then one in the middle. And I did save a piece to show you guys how it turned out. It was so freaking good. I can't even tell you, but I just wanted to show you. So it created this like super yummy, almost like just a breakfast potato combo. And what I love about cracking fried eggs and putting them in the oven to bake is it just spreads out and kind of holds all of the food together. So it has the potatoes, the cheese, and the bacon all together. And you've got your egg on top. And then I just put it on a bed of lettuce, um, spinach, and then uh, you could add like a little side of avocado. I just like doused mine with Primal Kitchen Buffalo sauce. It was so good, but um, 
I was super surprised because when I pulled the food out, you know, it's a huge battle right now for us to get our toddler to eat anything. And it was so cute because he saw me pulled out of the oven and he immediately ran over to his chair, pulled his chair out, got in his seat and just waited. Like he was just ready to try these breakfast potatoes. So I got his little plate, I added some grapes, I gave him his fork and, and a, like a little bit of um, side of like sugar-free organic ketchup. And he just like dipped the pieces of the potato and the egg right in the ketchup and ate it. So, I mean, I think if my kid ate it, then that just vouches for how good it turned out. But I was super excited about how delicious it was. And it was something I've just been like continuing to eat like throughout the morning because we just had it sitting out. So I just wanted to share those two quick uh, potato recipes with you. I am going to save this video as an IGTV so you can look for that later today. But in general, I do want to start going live more often. My goal is to go live every Sunday. So if you have anything specific you'd like me to talk about, any recipes you'd like me to share, any specific foods that you're struggling with, not knowing how to incorporate into your diet, just reach out to me because I would love to help you. And again, if you are interested in trying Misfits Market, I do have a code to get you $10 off your first order. So you can send me a DM or a comment on the video and I can make sure that you get that code. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a great start to your spring, a great day. Please stay safe, stay healthy, take your vitamins, get some sunshine, hug your loved ones, and I'll see you next time.